Alright everyone, it's time to go balls deep and since you guys requested this video, it was pretty close in the poll. Here I'll be providing you the information you may not know about the sexy beast known as Kakashi Hatake. And you know, there's kind of no point in saying no homo anymore because my man truly is a man with class. Them cheekbones, those eyes, that beauty spot, they are something to envy. You know, women be telling me in real life, oh my god, oh my god, he's so hot. <laughs> I wish all guys look like Kakashi in real life and I'm like girl you know it's an anime right it's fake you know shaking my head all over the place I'm like bruh how can we meet Kakashi standards but uh, you know us lot out here we got no chance it's impossible so here's a freaking Chidori to the heart bitch Lasagna, bitch so here's to smashing that like button since we are upholding your request of course and let me know in the comments what video you would like next by the way we already did this video three years ago in 2016 but it got taken down due to youtube's broken copyright system and i guess it's outdated so some of the things i will say you might already know so forgive me please let's cue the intro videos are also made possible by anime ryo if you'd like anime clothing that are absolutely lit then please check it out and use the discount code abd squad to receive 10 percent off your whole order all right just like all our other videos in the series let's start with the name kakashi who is also known as kakashi of the sharingan or kakashi hatake where kakashi itself means scarecrow and hatake means farmland so his full name can be translated to scarecrow in the farmland however funnily enough as iconic as his name has become he originally wasn't even intended to be named kakashi kijimoto considered a number of possibilities for his name such as kuwa which is a japanese name for the agricultural hand tool known as ho the the second name for Kakashi could have been Karma, which means scythe, Botan, which means long life or the Poeni flower, and even Inoki, meaning nettle tree. Now, personally, this got me thinking. Imagine he was named Inoki, for example. Can you think about Naruto saying, Inoki sensei, Inoki, Inoki, <laughs> you're such a G, man. You were beast mode against zombies, or bro. Inoki is my G, you know, it doesn't really work, right? So, in the end, Kijimoto ended up using Kakashi. In fact, since Kakashi means scarecrow, Kijimoto represented his character based upon the name. For example, Naruto uses a scarecrow that is dressed like Kakashi to help him train for a combat test against him. Scarecrows were also at times added to the background of scenes in which Kakashi appears. For instance, for the third volume of Naruto manga, you can see it in the background. Kakashi's summoning dogs such as Pakun also have a seal on the back of Pakun's jacket which is a face that is drawn on scarecrows in Japan by children. Another funny occurrence of this representation is when Itachi uses Tsukiyomi on Kakashi Kakashi is hung up like a scarecrow while he got tortured which again is ironic and represents his name. Moving on to concept and design, did you guys know Kakashi was meant to be a samurai? Originally in the conception stage, Kijimoto intended to illustrate Kakashi as a samurai similar to Mifune. Rather than the ninja that we know today, he was supposed to be a more stern and rude character. However, Kijimoto changed his mind to make Kakashi a more lovable character. Kijimoto planned Kakashi's first debut to be in the second chapter of the manga. Appearing prior to the other members of Team 7, Kakashi was supposed to be even more laid back, ending his sentences with the polite Digozuru phrase in the Japanese version of the series, similar to Naruto saying Datta Bayo. However, after speaking with his editor Kosuke Yahage, it was decided to introduce Kakashi in a later chapter so he could better develop the members of Team 7 instead. Kakashi still kept some of his original traits, of course, like being easygoing and showing his laid back personality by showing his eyes appearing to be half asleep. Kijimoto changed the way Kakashi spoke over time. If you notice, Kakashi's speech pattern initially changed from being rude to being more polite. Kijimoto did this on purpose because during the character creation phase, he said, I didn't really know what his character would be like. I had this very stern and rude master image in my head, so I gave him a very strict speech pattern. But after that, I wasn't happy with how it turned out. I started thinking a laid back master would be better. Furthermore, the summoning jutsu Kakashi has called it Ninkens, translating to ninja dogs of course, it was likely adapted from the original idea that Kijimoto had regarding Hokage. Originally, the third or fourth Hokage, depending on the sources, was meant to be a ninja dog Hokage. However, since the idea was shot down by an editor, thank god, that dogs being ninjas does not fit the theme of the show, which I agree with, Kijimoto basically took this idea and gave it to Kakashi as a summoning. One of the most iconic anime moments we see these nin kens is fighting against Zabuza, for example. Now, Zabuza was introduced at the beginning of the Naruto series to go up against Kakashi because Kijimoto wanted to show off how 
how powerful Kakashi was. He used it as a way to demonstrate how strong a ninja clash could be in the Naruto universe. The creator of Naruto specifically said it was a writing technique to create cornerstones in the manga and fans would be able to see where the manga could end up in terms of story and fighting and the content provided. Have you guys ever wondered why Kakashi wears a mask? Actually, you know, don't lie to yourself, I know all of us have. We believed it was there for him to hide his Sharingan when Naruto first started, right? But we came to find out that it wasn't the case. This is because Kakashi is seen wearing the mask even before he was given the Sharingan. And even after losing the Sharingan in Boruto, Kakashi is still seen wearing a mask. So, according to the Rock Lee Springtime of Youth Full Power Ninja Chronicle manga, the reason why Kakashi wears a mask is to hide the blood coming out of his nose whenever he reads his Icha Icha books that Jirai created and many others. Now this is a typical running gag where perverted characters see, you know, these sexy, beautiful women unclothed or in lingerie. But you know, let's be honest here, the real reason is because Kakashi was so freaking sexy, <laughs> you know, he had to give other villagers a chance with the ladies, no homo. Kishimoto was even directly asked on why Kakashi wears a mask and his reply was that he saw ninjas as being mysterious or something along those lines. So in his character design, he made Kakashi wear a mask, but he didn't do that with the other characters because it's too difficult to get their expressions down when you can't see their entire face. It's like emotions and body language. He didn't want to mess that all up, so he only did it for Kakashi. Kakashi is better known for his ability of accurately copying any move he sees with the help of the Sharingan he possesses in his left eye. Kakashi was able to copy over a thousand jutsu which led to his signature name Copy Ninja Kakashi, just like I was the copycat guy at school for the exam. However, although Kakashi has a vast arsenal of jutsu to his disposal, he doesn't really rely on them. Kakashi being a prodigy even without the Sharingan, he can use all five basic nature transformations including the yin and yang release, although Kakashi's natural affinity is the lightning release. When he was younger, he tried to apply his lightning nature to the Rasengan but failed. In its place, he created the Chidori, a collection of lightning chakra in the hand that can pierce most targets that it's thrust into, just ox Rin. He once famously split a bolt of lightning with his Chidori, earning the name Lightning Cutter. So Kakashi has a lot of nicknames it seems. The Chidori and Lightning Cutter are very fast attacks of course, such that Kakashi can only use them safely with the Sharingan, but after losing his Sharingan in the 4th Shinobi World War, he found it more difficult to use the Lightning Cutter, so he created the new Jutsu called Purple Electricity, which unleashes a bolt of lightning to attack from afar. Effectively, the user unleashes a purple stream of electricity from their hands, which can be used to short to mid range attacks, and Kakashi mastered this ability to the point where he can summon rain clouds when the attack is shot into the sky and he's a beast and I think he's just as powerful. Alright now let's get into Kakashi's use of his Sharingan and explain how he was able to use Susano. Yes, this question has actually been a big topic within the community where some of you even consider it Kakashi having Susano to be Bushi or a plot hole. Now we all know the story of how Kakashi had obtained his Sharingan but even though Kakashi had a Sharingan he wasn't able to deactivate it since he isn't an Uchiha. This caused him to lose chakra more rapidly and to help prevent that he had to keep his left eye covered. When Obito dies with both his Sharingan, his spirit briefly returns and transfers into Kakashi, channeling his chakra ultimately giving him Mangekyo Sharingan in both eyes. This is actually very similar to how Hagoromo gave Renengan to Sasuke. Now remember everyone, the way that Mangekyo works is that when its ability has been unlocked in both eyes, then the user will obtain the power of Susano. Sasuke said this himself. And due to this, Kakashi was able to unlock his very own Susano. Just because it was, you know, Obito's eyes, it doesn't make the Susano dependent on the eyes itself. The Susano is very distinct to Kakashi and it's personal. Now the reason a lot of fans were annoyed at this is because Kakashi just, you know, suddenly getting this power up that seemed like a cop out from Kijimoto and the fact that Kakashi was able to master the manga Kyo in such a short time to produce Susano, <laughs> it seemed silly. But logically, this is still consistent to the Naruto universe. This is due to Kakashi having a Sharingan for one of his eyes for such a long time, mastering the full set of manga Kyo straight away, it, you know, it came second nature to him. On top of that, he's a prodigy. It would actually make things very easier for him. One can even speculate that Kakashi can still use his Susano even after he loses both Sharingans. Now this is due to the fact that Madara had no eyes and could still use Susano against the tailed beast. Again reinforcing the idea that once the Susano is unlocked, it is the embodiment of the user's soul and not their eyes itself. Another case is with Itachi. When he had his eyes deactivated but he could still use his Susano against Sasuke during their fight. Shisui used his Susano when he lost one eye against Donzo and the foundation and overall all of this gives the impression that once Susano is unlocked it stays with the user independent of the Sharingan itself. Even the avatar of Kakashi Susano resembles him showing it personal to the user. So yeah even though 
while Obito's spirit might have faded away and Kakashi lost both Sharingan, Obito's last and final gift to Kakashi could have likely been the Susano. So will we see Kakashi use Susano in Boruto? I don't think so personally. They can easily, easily state in the writing the fact that you need to be an Uchiha to fix the consistency and power scaling along with the fact of trying to say, you know, Susano is an Uchiha thing, you need a Uchiha chakra, which Kakashi no longer has and Kakashi won't use Susano in Boruto. 1000 years of death! I mean, we all remember this clip, right? So why does Kakashi use this jutsu? The technique is performed by clapsing the hands together in the shape of an imaginary gun and attempting to poke an unexpecting victim's anus, often exclaiming, Concho! So this practice was so popular that an arcade game was developed by Toph System, a South Korean company. The game is called Bunga Bunga in Korea or Kancho Gimo in Japan, Japanese or whatever, I'm definitely butchering these pronunciations by the way. The object of the game is to score points by spanking or performing Kancho on a model of a human posterior embedded in the game's cabinet and a plastic finger is attached to the machine for players to perform the poking of the finger in the anus, I can't believe what I'm saying right now. But the game features 8 characters which players can punish like your ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend, gangster, mother-in-law, gold digger, prostitutes, <laughs> child <laughs> Child molester, I can't believe what I'm saying right now. But this jutsu is derived from a game and practice. The 1000 years of death technique was a prank, but it was also used as a form of bullying among Japanese and Korean children. So Kijimoto must have got inspiration from this video game or practice from real life and introduced it with Kakashi using it as a jutsu, as a gag and as a joke. But how did Kakashi himself learn it? Well, in chapter 5 of Rock Lee's Springtime of Youth, Sukuma Hotake, Kakashi's father, is said to be the user of this technique. And in the end, Kakashi might guy Rock Lee perform a collaboration technique called 3000 years of death but yeah I can't believe what I just explained to you guys all right now moving on to another big question that everyone wants to know what's going on with Kakashi's love life we already know that as a child Kakashi like most boys was oblivious to the feelings of girls around him and in his case this would apply to Rin who at the time had developed a crush on Kakashi although these feelings were one-sided just look into the manga where Rin was about to express her feelings for him and Kakashi rejected it because you know it was kind of emo and stuff. So funnily enough, Rin was also in a similar position to Kakashi in which Obito also had a massive crush on Rin. So just like, you know, the Sakura situation with Naruto and Sasuke, like Sakura, Rin was very subtle yet obvious in expressing her crush. Like every time Kakashi was promoted, Rin would plan a surprise party for him along with any other clear indications that you would see in the manga. But after her death, was there anyone else that likes Kakashi or even Kakashi that would potentially marry? Well, after the conclusion of Naruto, Kakashi hid then lightning in the icy sky is a novel where the story went over Kakashi's reign as the sixth Hokage after the fourth shinobi world war. Now even though it is not written by Kijimoto himself he did approve and illustrate it. So you know this is pretty much could be canon and adapted in Boruto. So in this novel it explores Kakashi's love interest with Kayo a missing nin from the hidden mist village. Without giving too much away after sharing her passing history with Kakashi Kayo opens up very quickly and catches feelings for him and it is indicated that Kakashi also has these feelings and wants to be with her. I don't want to go balls deep analysis into explaining all of this because I've already done a video on it called the real reason Kakashi is not married and I want you to watch it go watch it after this video. Alright it's time for blazing round keep up with me. Kakashi's birthday is on the September the 15th and was 26 at the start of the Naruto series. He weighs 67.5 kilos and is 181 centimeters tall and has the blood type O. Kakashi became a genin at the age of 5, junior at 6, joining at the around age of 10. Kakashi has completed 1141 official missions and I think this has increased at this point because the data book is outdated and Boruto is happening right now so it's more likely around the 1400-1500 range. Kakashi's favourite hobby is reading the Icho Icho series by Jiraiya. Kakashi's favourite food are salt boiled sori and miso soup with eggplant whilst his least favourite food are anything fried or sweet which I don't understand because you know chips, fries and all that, that stuff is delicious to me. Kakashi's favourite word is teamwork and yeah that's the end of the video make sure to smash that like button, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and uh, you know tell me what in the comment section below what character you want us to do next and I'll see you guys next time.